Hello my friends, Kurt Bergen with you. And when I was young, a period of time which I would like to think is still very much in progress, the one of the big game of the week matchups was not the Yankees and Red Sox, but it was the Reds and Dodgers. And uh, we're going to do a Reds-Dodger game for you here today. And it's the 1974 Los Angeles Dodgers against the 1970 Cincinnati Reds, a pair of World Series losers. Of course, the Reds lost to the Baltimore Orioles in five games in 1970, and the Dodgers lost to the Oakland A's in five games in 1974. The pitchers, the aces of their respective staffs, although I guess Andy Messersmith could make a claim for that, uh, in 74, but Don Sutton will be going for the visiting Dodgers today. Sutton is a seven-inning fatigue pitcher, and he has a rating of a B with control of an A. And, of course, Sutton is a right-hander, and he will be opposed by Gary Nolan of the Reds. He is a fatigue of seven. He is a B pitcher with a control of a B as well. Give you the lineups for today's game. These lineups, of course, can't be the as-played lineups. Uh, so to avoid heads exploding all over this great land of ours, I used commonly used lineups for both teams off of baseball reference. Leading off for the Dodgers at second base, Davey Lopes. Betting second for the Dodgers in left field, Bill Buckner. Betting third for L.A., it's Jim Wynn in center field. Betting fourth, it's Steve Garvey, the 1974 MVP at first base. Betting fifth, Willie Crawford in right. Betting sixth, Ron Say at third. Betting seventh, Bill Russell at short. And betting eighth, it's Steve Yeager behind the plate. And on the mound, it's Don Sutton batting ninth. For the Reds. It's Pete Rose leading off in right field for the Reds in 1970. Bobby Tolan will bat second and play center field. Tony Perez, the third baseman for the young Big Red Machine, will bat third and play third base. Johnny Bench will bat fourth and do the catching. Lee May will bat fifth and play first base. Bernie Carbo will bat sixth and play left field. Tommy Helms will bat seventh and play second base, and Woody Woodward will get the shortstop duties today. He will bat eighth and play short. Gary Nolan will bat ninth and do the pitching. We are ready to go. My cards for pocket pennant run will be over here, so you can see what I'm doing. Pitcher card here, and then all the other cards we need are stacked up over there. Top of the first, Dave Lopes coming to the plate. He is a B batter, and... He drops to a C against Nolan. The pitch from Gary Nolan is a batter result. Nolan or Lope swings and hits it on the ground to first base. That's Lee May, who's going to feed Nolan covering. And we are underway with a 3-1 put out of Mr. Lopes. Now it's Buckner coming to the plate. The left fielder for the 74 pennant winners in the National League. The pitch to Buckner, he's an A. Pitch to Buckner, that's a batter result. The two is hit on the ground to Tony Perez at third base. He throws to May at first, and there's two gone in the Dodger first. Jimmy Wynn up, he's a B, he drops to a C against Nolan, the pitch. To Jimmy, that is a defense check. A 10 is hit to second base, that's Tommy Helms. Helms' defense is an A. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Helms makes the play to Lee May for out number three, and it's a 1-2-3 first inning for, in 1970, a very hard-throwing Gary Nolan. Before his arm miseries took his uh, hard-throwing days from him. Rose will lead off. He's an A against Sutton. The pitch to Pete 
that's a control check on Sutton's card. Sutton is an A control pitcher, as you might imagine, and A struck him out. Rose not happy with the call. One gone in the bottom of the first. Pulling up, he's an A, the center fielder for the 70 Reds. That's a nine, that's a batter result. And a nine is a base hit for Tolan. He's aboard and a speed demon. Tolan is on. Perez coming up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tolan is on with Perez coming up. And Tolan, his speed is an A. Perez takes the first pitch. There goes Tolan. And Tolan steals second. Stolen base for Bobby Tolan. Sparky's got him running in inning number one. Perez behind in the count of 1 1 on the Sutton Bender. Perez is an A. He drops to a B against Sutton. The pitch is a batter result. That is a 7. Hit on the ground to Garvey at first. He flips to Sutton covering underhanded as Tolan moves to third. And with two outs, he's 90 feet away from being the first run of the game. Bench coming to the plate. He's a B. Drops to a C against Sutton. Pitch to Johnny Bench. That's a control reading for Sutton's card. And hey, struck him out. A fastball in the outside corner. Johnny Stood there like a house on the side of the road. So that will retire the Reds in the first inning. Two strikeouts by Sutton. Tolan gets to third, but is stranded. After one, we have no score in Cincinnati at Riverfront Stadium. Steve Garvey is an A. He drops to a B against Nolan. The pitch. Batter result. Nine for Garvey. Base hit right field for Garvey. First hit for the Dodgers. Crawford comes up. He is an A. The pitch from Nolan, that's a better result. 12-5 on the A hitting Crawford is hit in the air to right field. Rose into right center will make the catch. Garvey retreats to first base, and there's one out in the Dodger second. Say up now, he's a B, drops to a C against Nolan. The pitch, better result for Say. This is hit on the ground to Tommy Helms. Helms to Woodward for one. The relay to Lee May is in time for a rally killing, soul crushing. Four, six, three, double play turned by Cincinnati. Or if you're Milo Hamilton, Cincinnati. Or if you're Sparky Anderson, Cincinnati. Uh, May, Carbo and Helms against Sutton in the second inning. Lee May is a B, drops to a C against Sutton. The pitch, it's a better result check. May and the C is a line drive snagged by Garvey. Steve Garvey's been busy so far. One down in the second, Carbo up. He's an A batter. The pitch to Carbo is a control check. Sutton is an A. Hey, struck him out. Two gone in the second for Cincinnati. Yeah, three strikeouts so far for Sutton. Helms up. He's a C. Drops to a D against Sutton. The pitch. Batter result. Ground ball say. Ron gloves it to his left, plants, and throws to Garvey for out number three. We've played two complete, and there is no score in Cincinnati. Between these longtime National League Western Division rivals, who aren't anymore, Russell, Jaeger, and Sutton, righty, righty, righty against Nolan. Seven, eight, nine hitters. Russell is a B, drops to a C against Nolan. That's a better result. That's a 10, and that's a base hit for Bill Russell. Russell's aboard. He is a B speed, and he's not going to go anywhere. Jaeger up. He's a B. Drops to a C against Nolan. The pitch is a 5. That's a defense check. That is hit at Tommy Helms at second base. Helms is an A defender. Ground ball to Helms. He gloves it, throws to Woodward for one. The relay to Lee May is not in time. 
Jaeger beats the rap at first base, so Russell is retired on the fielder's choice four to six if you are scoring at home, and if you are, oh my goodness. Don Sutton comes to the plate against Nolan. And we're gonna use our strategy card here. Sutton's gonna try and bunt Jaeger to second. The pitch is hit on the ground right in front of home plate. And Johnny Bench gloves it, barehanded actually, and fires to Helms covering first, and the sacrifice moves Jaeger up to second base. So with two outs now, Jaeger is in scoring position for Lopes. Lopes is a B, he drops to a C against Nolan. He is 0 for 1 in the game so far. The pitch to Davey is a better result check. That is hit in the air to left field. Bernie Carbo back a few steps, but he's got room and puts it away for out number three. The Dodgers threaten, but do not score in inning number three. We go to the bottom of the third. And there is no score in this ball game. Woodward, Nolan, and Rose coming up for Cincinnati. Eight, nine, one batters. Woodward is a right-handed batter. He's a C, so he drops to a D against Sutton. The pitch is a defensive check. That's hit toward Garvey at first base. Steve Garvey is an A defender. And he's going to take it himself for out number one in the Cincinnati third. Here comes Gary Nolan, D-rated hitter. The pitch is a better result. That's a seven. Hit in the air to center field. Jimmy Wynn's got plenty of room and makes the catch for out number two. Now it's Rose. Rose is an A. He's 0 for 1 today. The pitch from Sutton is a batter result. That's a base hit for Pete Rose. Two out single for Pete, and here comes Tolan. Tolan is one for one. He has a stolen base. The pitch to Bobby Tolan. Batter result on Sutton. Tolan is an A. That's a base hit to right field. Drops in front of Crawford. Rose around second, heading to third, and gets to third with a head first slide in front of Ron Say. Tolan stops at first. There's Reds at the corners, but with two outs for Tony Perez, who is 0 for 1 in the game so far. Sutton's got a big pitch to make here. Reds with a serious scoring threat. Perez is an A. He drops to a B against the right-handed Sutton, the pitch. It's a batter result. That's a 9. Uh, and that's hit in the air to left field. Bill Buckner on the run toward the line. Gets there and makes the catch for out number three. So the Reds threaten in the third, but don't score. They leave two. After three, there is no score at Riverfront. All righty. Top of the fourth. Buckner, win and Garvey, lefty, righty, righty against Gary Nolan. Dueling shutouts. So far, we got a good one going. The pitch to Buckner is a three on Nolan's card. That's a control check. And Nolan is a B control pitcher, and that's ball four to Buckner. Now, that's going to be an interesting situation here because Buckner stole 31 bases in 1974. He is rated an A stealer. Win at the plate, he's 0 for 1. The pitch to J and he is a B batter. He drops to a C against Nolan. So the hit and run is off the table. Wynn takes the first pitch for a strike. There goes Buckner. The throw down from Bench is not in time. Buckner steals second, and he's in scoring position with nobody out. Wynn took a called strike. He's behind in the count of 1-1. Buckner at second. Nobody out in the fourth. We have a scoreless game. Wynn 0 for 1. The pitch to Jimmy is a defense check. That's hit on the ground to Woodward at short. Woodward's defense is a C.
Buckner is heading to third. Woodward looks at him, but makes the play to Lee May at first base, and that retires Win. and now Buckner is 90 feet away from scoring. When the Reds had this opportunity in the first, they did not plate Tolan. Can the Dodgers plate Buckner here in the fourth? Garvey up one for one. The Reds infield is going to play in against Garvey. He is an A hitter. He drops to a B against Nolan. The pitch. Batter result. Garvey with a power check. Nolan hangs a curveball. And Steve Garvey just lost it for him. To left and deep. Bernie Carbo to the wall, and it's out of here for a two-run dong for Steve Garvey. It's a two-run Dodger lead. A two-run bomb for Garvey in the top of the fourth off Gary Nolan. And the Dodgers strike first. One out, Crawford coming up. He's an A batter. The pitch to Willie. That's a control check, and an 11 on a control check for a B pitcher is a walk. Crawford draws the walk. Say comes up now. He's 0 for 1. Nolan needs a double play grounder. One out. Crawford at first. Two in. The pitch. Batter result check, six for Say. He drops from a B to a C. It's hit in the air to center field. Bobby Tolan on the run into left center. He's going to make the catch. Crawford retreats to first base. Russell comes up with two outs now. He is a B, drops to a C against Nolan. The pitch control check. For Nolan, that's a B. He's a B. That's a roll of a four. And hey, struck him out. That retires the Dodgers in the fourth with Gary Nolan's first strikeout. But the Dodgers get two on one hit. They don't leave anybody. And we go to the bottom of the fourth with the Dodgers two and the Reds nothing. In the Reds' fourth, it'll be Bench, May, and Carvel, righty, righty, lefty, coming up. Bench is a B, drops to a C against Sutton, the pitch. That is a batter result. An 11 for Bench is a power check, and that's hit to center and deep. Jimmy Wynn to the wall, and it is gone for the A-powered Bench. 2-1, just like that. Lightning strikes, and Sutton hung a curveball, and Bench lost it for him. 2-1, Dodgers. Bottom of, the four, bottom of the fourth, and now it's Lee May, who can certainly tie it up with his power. Lee is 0-1, the pitch from Sutton. Hey, struck. <laughs> struck him out. That's four for Sutton. One gone in the fourth. Now it's Carbo. He's an A batter. 0 for 1 today. Defense check. That's hit back to Sutton. Sutton is an A defender. We got a roll of a 4. And he makes the play to Garvey at first. His old, his old friend. It's a 1-3 put out of Carbo. And there's two gone in the 4th. Now it's Helms 0 for 1. Control check for Sutton. It's a two, and Sutton's an A. That is ball four for Helms, and he goes down to first base with Woody Woodward coming up. Woodward's a C, drops to a D against Sutton. On deck is Nolan, the pitch. That is a batter result check, and that is a base hit for Woody Woodward. Dropping in front of Crawford around second as Helms heading to third. The Reds have men at the corners for Gary Nolan. I don't think even Sparky would pinch hit for Nolan here, so I'm not going to either. 0 for 1 for Nolan in the game. He's a D batter, the pitch. Control check for Sutton. And the A pitcher on control strikes out Nolan on a fastball. That's five strikeouts for Sutton. It ends the Reds' fourth, but they get a run on two hits and leave two. 
after four. We got a good one. It is 2-1 Dodgers. 74 Dodgers over the um, 1970 Cincinnati Reds. Alrighty, so it's Jaeger, Sutton, and Lopes coming up. 8-9-1 for the Dodgers in inning number five. Sutton, or Jaeger, is 0-for-1. He's a B, drops to a C against Nolan. The pitch is going to be trouble. This is a batter result check. It's an 11 for Jaeger. That's a power check. Jaeger's got big-time power in 1974. And that one's hit to center and deep. Bobby tolling on his horse, but he can't bring this one back. It's out of here for a solo shot for Steve Yeager. 3-1 Dodgers now. And Sutton comes to the plate. He's a D. The pitch is a better result check. That's an 11. That's a base hit for Sutton. The wheels are falling off Gary Nolan's cart quickly. In the Reds' bullpen. Milt Wilcox starts to throw the rookie. Now it's Lopes 0 for 2. Walter Alston napping in the Dodger dugout. The pitch to Davey Lopes is a batter result check. That he is a B who drops to a C. This is hit on the ground to Helms. Tommy gloves it. He goes to Woodward for one. The relay to May is in time by a half step. They nip Davy Lopes and get a 4 6 3 soul rally killing, soul crushing double play turned by the Reds. Just when Nolan needed it, and now it's Buckner 0 for 1. He stole a base and scored a run in the fourth. The pitch, Buckner's an A. This is an 8. That's a batter result. That is a seven. That's a base hit for Buckner. He's got his first hit of the game. Now it's Wynn with two outs. He's 0 for 2. Buckner at first. Nolan the stretch. Wynn drops from a B to a C. The pitch. That's a batter result. That's hit on the ground to Helms. Tommy's going to glove it and throw to Lee May to retire the Dodgers in inning number five. We're halfway through this one. It's the 74 Dodgers 3 and the 70 Reds 1 after 4.5 complete. Rose, Tolan, and Perez. 1, 2, 3 hitters in the Cincinnati order for the Reds in the 5th. Sutton, the wind, and the delivery is a control check for Don. A seven is strike three swinging. Rose doesn't like that either. He tried to check his swing and they rung him up. Pete is cranky. That is strikeout number six for Sutton. Now it's Tolan who's two for two. He's an A batter. The pitch from Sutton is a defense check. That is a hit to right field. Willie Crawford is a D defender. And he's going to make the catch for out number two in the Reds' fifth. Tony Perez comes up. He's 0 for 2. Tony is an A batter. He drops to a B against the right-handed Sutton. The pitch, as I'm dropping my pen, is a defense check. That is hit to center field. Jimmy Wynn is a B defender. That's a roll of a six. Jimmy Wynn has all kinds of room and puts it away for out number three as Sutton rights the ship after a very shaky fourth inning and retires the Reds in one, two, three fashion in the fifth. We go to the sixth. 74 Dodgers three, 70 Reds one. And now it's Garvey, Crawford, and Say coming up. In the Dodger six, Steve is two for two. He's an A, he drops to a B against Nolan. The pitch is a batter result check. That is a base hit for Garvey. Single for Steve, three for three on the day. Here comes Crawford. 0 for one with a walk for Willie. He is an A batter as well. The pitch from Nolan, batter result check. 
Crawford is an A. That's chopped on the infield. It's off Nolan's glove. Rolling toward Perez. Tony's got no play. Two Dodgers are aboard with nobody out in the six. Say is up. 0 for 2 for Ronnie. And Nolan needs a double play grounder. Wilcox gets throwing again in the Reds' bullpen. The pitch from Nolan. Say drops to a C against the right-hander. The pitch. Hey! Struck him out, and Nolan picked a good time for the broccoli cauliflower medley. Gas! Now, there's one out in the sixth. And... Russell is up. One for two for Bill. Russell is a B. He drops to a C against Nolan. Garvey at second, Crawford at first. The pitch from Nolan is a batter result check. That's a C. It's hit on the ground to Woodward. Woodward to Helms for one. The reel at MA is in time for a 6-4-3. Rally killing, soul crushing double play turned by the Reds. That is the second of the third of the ball game turned by the Reds infield. We go to the bottom of the six, Dodgers three, Reds one. And it's Bench, May, and Carbo, four, five, six hitters coming against Sutton. Bench is one for two, the pitch. Batter check. Bench drops to a C. It's hit in the air to right field. Willie Crawford with room puts it away for out number one. May is a B, drops to a C against Sutton. The pitch is a defense check. That's hit to right field. Willie Crawford is on the run and he's gonna get there for out number two in the sixth. Sutton has now retired six in a row and Carbo comes up 0 for two. Bernie is an A, the pitch. Defensive check, hit on the ground to Say at third base. Say is a, is a, whoa. Say is a C defender. And my camera really wants to go for a walk. Uh, yeah, and I think this will work. Say is a C defender, and the seven is going to be a ground ball put out as Say makes the throw to Garvey, and that will retire the Reds in one, two, three fashion in inning number six. We go to the seventh. With the score, 74 Dodgers, 3, 70 Reds, 1. And we're getting close to Mike Marshall time, but we're not quite there yet. Steve Yeager is up. Nolan, probably his last inning here. Yeager, Sutton, and Lopes up for the Dodgers in the top of the 7th. Yeah, Yeager will bat. He's one for two. He had a homer in the fifth. Yeager's a B, drops to a C against Nolan. The pitch is a batter result check, and this is going to be trouble. That's power for Yeager, and Yeager goes deep again. 4-1 Dodgers. Steve Yeager, who I almost didn't start, has gone deep twice for the Dodgers. 4-1 L.A. And here comes Sutton, breathing a little bit easier. One for one for Sutton with a bunt on the day. That's a six, that's a batter result check. The seven is hit to center, but not deep. Bobby Tolan coming in a few steps. Makes the catch for out number one. Lopes up, 0 for three. The pitch, control check for Lopes. He is a B pitcher. He struck him out. That is Nolan's third strikeout. And now it's Buckner one for two. Batter result. Buckner's an A. That's a base hit. Two for two for Buckner. Win coming up. Tough day for Jimmy. 0 for three so far. Nolan the stretch and the delivery to Jim Wynn is a control check and a one. His day just got tougher. Hey, struck him out looking. And that will end the Dodgers seventh with Gary Nolan. And it's going to end Gary Nolan's evening. 
They get one run on two hits and leave one. After seven, six and a half, it's time to stretch them out at Riverfront. Fans not happy. 74 Dodgers, four. 70 Reds, one. Helms, Woodward, and Nolan coming up in the Reds' seventh. The Reds' bullpen is busy. It's Clay Carroll throwing for Cincinnati. Helms will lead off. He is a C batter. He is a D against Sutton. It's a batter result check. Ten. Base hit for Helms. One for two. Woodward is due. And Sparky's going to go to the bench and go to Ty Klein to bat for Woody Woodward against Sutton. Klein is a C pinch hitter and a left-handed batter, so he does not drop. A letter grade against Sutton. Sutton the stretch, checks Helms at first, and the delivery to Klein is a better result check. That is hitting the air to left field, slicing away from Buckner, and he gets there for out number one. Nolan is due now. Jimmy Stewart is going to pinch hit for Nolan. And, of course, for Jimmy, it's just a wonderful life. Uh, he starred in a number of fine movies and was a pinch hitter for the 1970 Reds. He was an extremely, extremely busy man. All right, so Stewart is a C batter. I'm sorry, he's a B batter and a switch hitter, so he does not drop against Sutton either. Helms at first, one out. The pitch to Jimmy is a batter result check, and this is a base hit for Stewart. Around second goes Helms, and he will take third. There's Reds at the corners with one out for Rose. Tying run at the plate in Peter Edward Rose. Mike Marshall is starting to throw in the Dodger bullpen. So is Jim Brewer. Lefty-righty double-barreled action. Rose is up. He's one for three. The pitch and the Dodger defense is a double play depth. The pitch to Pete, he's an A. That's a control check. That's a 10, and Sutton must be tiring because he just walked the bases loaded. So, the bases are dripping for Bobby Tolan. Tolan is two for three. Tying run is at first base in Pete Rose. Helms at third. Jimmy Stewart is at second base looking for Donna Reed in the stands. He really needs to pay more attention to what he's doing. And Pete Rose is at first, and Pete Rose, of course, is flashing hand signals to his bookie. Is it too soon for that kind of joke? I don't think so. Uh, okay, so Bobby Tolan, two for three. He's an A against Sutton. The Dodger defense is a double play depth. The pitch to Bobby is a batter result check. This is hit on the ground to Lopes. To his left, he looks at second, has no play, makes the throw to Garvey at first, and there are two down. Helms scores on the ground out. It's 4-2 Dodgers now. Tolan gets an RBI. Stewart goes to third base, and is trying to avoid a case of vertigo at third base. See what I did there? Jimmy Stewart fans, vertigo. You starred in a movie called Vertigo? No? Okay. So, Stewart's a third. Be nice to me, everybody, or I'm going to start imitating Jimmy Stewart, and nobody wants that. Uh, Pete Rose is at second base. He's the tying run. It's 4-2 Dodgers. Tony Perez is the lead run. He is at the plate. And he's 0-3 today. Perez is an A battery. Drops to a B against the right-handed Sutton. The pitch. That's a control check. A 9 is strike 3. 
Perez is gone, and that retires the side with Sutton's seventh strikeout in the seventh inning. Not seventh strikeout in the inning, but seventh strikeout in the game in inning number seven. That didn't really clear anything up. The Reds get one run in the bottom of the seventh on two hits. They leave two after seven complete. It's 4-2 Dodgers. Clay Carroll is going to be the new pitcher. I'll give you Nolan's numbers in just a moment. Clay Carroll has a fatigue rating of two. He is an A pitcher with A control, but don't hit the ball to him because it won't go well. There's Clay Carroll's fatigue rating, his pitcher rating, and his control letter. He is a right-hander, of course, the man they call Hawk. And let's talk about Gary Nolan for a minute. He went seven complete innings. He allowed nine hits. He walked two batters. He struck out four, and he allowed four runs. They're all earned. Three home runs. He's on the hook for the loss unless the Reds can rally. It's 4-2 Dodgers. We're in the top of the eighth. Garvey, Crawford, and Say, righty, lefty, righty. Garvey's an A. He'll drop to a B against Carroll. The pitch. It's a batter result. Hit in the air to center field. Bobby Tolan in his tracks. We'll put it away for out number one. Now it's Crawford, one for two. We're on the turf at Riverfront Stadium. Hey, struck him out. That's Carroll's first. Two on in the eighth. And now Say, who's 0 for three. Say's a B, drops to a C against the Hawk. Batter, result, and a base hit for Ron Say with two outs. That'll bring up Russell. Bill is one for three. He's a B, drops to a C against Carroll. The pitch, that's a batter result. That's a three. Ground ball hit to Concepcion, who is the new Reds shortstop. And Concepcion will go the short way to Helms to retire the Dodgers 6-4 on the putout of Ron Say in the eighth inning. After seven and a half, it's Dodgers four, Reds two. Sutton is going to give way now to Mike Marshall, not the outfielder. of later vintage, but Mike Marshall, the reliever. You know the story. Ooh, that sounds like Kurt Gowdy. But you know the story. He has his, had his PhD in kinesiology, 104 games in 1974, 208 innings pitched. Uh, he's an A pitcher with A control. He's going to face Bench, May, and Carbo and try and close this out for the Dodgers in two innings of work. He has a fatigue rating of two. Bench is one for three, a homer in the fourth. Bench is a B, drops to a C against Marshall, the pitch. It's a better result, and it's going to be trouble. This is a power check for Johnny Bench. He's an A power, and this is going to be off the wall. In left center, Wynn's got to run it down. Bench has himself a leadoff double in the eighth. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate in Lee May, who is 0 for 3. May is a B. He'll be a C against Marshall. Bench at second. Nobody out. Bottom of the eighth. 4-2 Dodger lead. The pitch from Marshall is a batter check. Chopped on the infield. Over Marshall's head, Russell gets it, fumbles it, no play anywhere. Bench goes to third. May is safe at first on the infield hit. Reds at the corners now, and the lead run is at the plate in Bernie Carbo. He is an A batter. The Dodger infield is at double play depth. Tempting to run someone, anyone, for Lee May at this point. It's 
Not going to do it. Okay, Carbo, 0 for 3. Bench at third, May at first. The pitch to Bernie Carbo is a 10. That's a better result. That's a 10 on the power for Bernie Carbo, who is an A power batter. This is a six as hit to right center and deep. It's going to split Wynn and Crawford and go to the wall. Bench scores. May around third. He is going to score. And the gain is tied at four on a bases clearing double by Bernie Carbo. Carbo is at second with still nobody out. Marshall has spit the bit and Sutton cannot win this game. Sutton will get a no decision. I didn't give you Sutton's numbers. He went seven innings. He allowed seven hits. He walked two men. He struck out seven. He allowed two runs, both earned, one home run. But he will get a no decision for his effort today. Now it's Tommy Helms. Tommy Helms is at the plate. There's nobody out. And Carbo is at second. I think Sparky puts on the bunt. So that's what we're going to do. Helms is one for two. The pitch from Marshall to Helms, he squares to bunt. And it's hit back to Marshall. Defensive check. Marshall is a D defender. He makes the play to Lopes at first, and Carbo advances to third. So the sacrifice works. And Helms is retired one to four. So with two outs, the with one out, the Dodger infield has to come in. The lead run in the bottom of the eighth is at third base in the person of Bernie Carbo. Now it's Concepcion, who is a B batter. And so he will bat. Clay Carroll is on deck, but nobody believes he's gonna bat if it comes to that. So Carbo at third, one man out, Dodger infield is in. The pitch from Marshall to Concepcion. Concepcion drops to a C against the right-handed Marshall. The pitch, hey, struck him out, and that's a big one right there. Dodger infield moves back to normal depth. Clay Carroll is due, and he's being called back to the dugout. We're going to see Angel Bravo pinch hit for Clay Carroll here in the eighth. He is a left-handed batter, so he will not drop a letter grade. He remains a C against Marshall. Marshall, the stretch, looks at Carbo at third base. The pitch home to Bravo is an eight. That is a batter check. Bravo is a C. That's hit on the ground to say at third. Ron is up with it and throws to Garvey, and that will retire the Reds in the bottom of the eighth, but they tie it up. Two runs on three hits off Mike Marshall. And they leave one 90 feet away. We go to the ninth. It's a 4-4 ball game between these longtime rivals. Jaeger, Marshall, and Lopes are due up in the ninth. Jaeger has gone deep twice in this game. We need a new Reds pitcher. And that's going to be their closer, Wayne Granger. So Granger is on, even though we have a tie game, and I'm quite certain that's what Sparky would do. He is an A pitcher with C control. He has a fatigue rating of one. So it's Jaeger up, Marshall standing in the on-deck circle. Not sure what's going to happen there. Granger winds and delivers to Jaeger. That is a seven. Jaeger drops to a C against the right-handed Granger. That's hit on the ground to Tommy Helms. Tommy gloves it and throws to um, Lee May for the out. Marshall is due, but Walter Alston woke up from his nap, and he's feeling a little bit cranky. So it's going to be Von Joshua batting against Granger. Marshall went one unproductive inning, allowed two runs on three hits, and struck out one. We're going to have a new pitcher in the bottom of the ninth.
for the Dodgers. Joshua is a C, a left-handed pinch hitter. The pitch from Granger. That's a seven. It's hit on the ground to Concepcion. Davies up with it and throws to Lee May for two outs. Now it's Lopes, 0 for 4. Lopes is a B, drops to a C. The pitch, hey, struck him out, and that ends the Dodger ninth in 1-2-3 fashion for Wayne Granger. In the bottom of the ninth, it'll be the top of the Reds' order. The new pitcher will be Jim Brewer. He will bat in the nine spot. Longtime Dodger closer, or short man, they called him back then. He is an A pitcher with A control, sparingly used in 1974, but Walter Alston wants him here. And so Rose, one for three, Tolan, two for four, and Perez, 0 for four, are up. Switch hitter, lefty, righty. No action in the Dodger bullpen. It's all on Jim Brewer right now. Rose is an A batter, a switch hitter. The pitch. That's a seven. That's a batter result, and it's a base hit for Rose. He's on with a single. Tolan is two for three. He's an A batter who drops to a B, but the Reds are going to put a play on. Brewer, the stretch, looks at Rose. The pitch home. There goes Pete. The hit and run is on. It's a base hit for Tolan. Pete is a B base runner. So we'll look in the out column. And it's a base hit, but it's knocked down by Lopes. Kept on the infield, Rose stops at second on the hit and run because Lopes keeps it on the infield. And there's two on now with Tony Perez coming to the plate. Nobody out in the Reds' ninth. No action in the Dodger bullpen. Walter Alston is in the dugout looking for his pillow to resume the nap. Uh, Tony Perez is 0 for 4. He is an A batter. Rose is the winning run on second. The pitch to Tony. Hey, struck him out. Brewer breaks out the screwball and Perez goes down looking. Now it's bench. Dodger infield at double play depth. Bench two for four. Chance to be the hero. He's a B batter against the left-handed Brewer, the pitch to JB, is a control check. An 11 on an A control is ball four. Brewer loses bench, and the Reds have the bases loaded. The bases are dripping with Reds, and it's Lee May at the plate. May is a B batter. He is facing the left-handed Brewer, so he will not drop. The Dodger infield plays in. May is one for four. Rose at third, the only man that matters. Tolan at second, and Bench at first. One out. The pitch to Lee May. Control check. It's a six. Hey, struck out May on a screwball, and that is two gone. We're going, to, boy, Carbo up now. Now, Carbo is a B batter because Brewer is left-handed. They're going to let Bernie bat against the left-handed offerings of Jim Brewer. Of course, that nullifies Brewer's screwball. So Carbo drops to a B. It's Rose at third, Tolan at second, Bench at first, two outs, bottom of the ninth, 4-4 four, four game. Any old kind of reaching base for Bernie Carbo is going to win it for the Reds. 
infield is at normal depth for the Dodgers. The pitch. That's a batter result check for Carbo. He is a B. That is a base hit for Carbo, and the Reds win the game with two outs in the bottom of the ninth on a walk-off single by Bernie Carbo off of left-hander Jim Brewer. A 5-4 come from behind Reds victory. Let's give you the totals. Four, the victorious 1970 Cincinnati Reds five runs. 13 base hits. And they committed no errors. The Dodgers, four runs. 10 hits. And they committed no errors. The winner, Wayne Granger in relief. The loser, Jim Brewer, with a big assist in the loss from Mike Marshall. Player of the game is Bernie Carbo, two for five. A clutch two-run double to tie the game in the bottom of the eighth. And a walk-off single to win the game in the bottom of the ninth. Three ribbies and a double for Bernie. Thank you for being with me. This game that we have been playing is called Pocket Pennant Run. I will put all of the details for the link to the website in the description for the video. The final score, the 1970 Cincinnati Reds 5, the 1974 Los Angeles Dodgers 4. Thank you for being with me. Have a wonderful day, everybody. So long, everybody.